All right, that was my kind of kitty here and go. Oh! It's Maverick Hayes. I am sitting at the state line of Wisconsin and Illinois, and I am headed into a historic town in Illinois where a president grew up. I'm going to take you there. I'll share all of the historical, iconic landmarks over there with you very soon. Do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it. And like the video, too. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. But first thing is first, before I do that, we got to clean the car. Wait just a second while your transaction is being processed. Thank you. I am entering Cuba City. It is right on the state line of Wisconsin and Illinois. The uh, city of the presidents. Now this is small town USA, huh? And that was Cuba City. Well, here I am. I have made it to historic Galena, Illinois. The home of Ulysses, or is it Ulysses? Ulysses? S. Grant, the president. I believe he was the 18th president. His name was actually picked out of a hat. Yeah, believe it or not. I don't know who dropped the name in a hat when he was born and his parents decided, let's just pick a name out of the hat. But Ulysses, or is it Ulysses? Well, you can Google it, that doesn't matter. He used to live here in Galena, Illinois. Let's go check it out. This river here used to flood all the time and come into the town. So over here, you will see, are these giant like gates. They're floodgates to keep the water out. It is such an old historic town. There is a lot of shopping here, uh, a lot of unique stores. Ulysses S. Grant, they say he was especially gifted with horses. I don't know what that means. He rode them a lot. I'm assuming whatever it was, it was legal in all states. I do remember that he was a general in the Civil War and he did not want to be a soldier. Perhaps he was drafted. I Now that I'm not sure about. You can look that up on Wikipedia and make sure you donate while you're there. President Grant, or Ulysses, we're just gonna call him Yu. That's going to be the easier name to go by. So Mr. Yu, he had a reputation of being drunk all the time, which is probably why he was one of the worst presidents in the country. Those aren't my words. Those are Googles. He owned a slave. President Grant owned a slave before freeing him. Going back to 1826 is when Galena was established. That's a few years before Maverick was thought of. Galena is in far northern Illinois, off the Wisconsin state line. And we are only about 15 minutes from the Mississippi River and Dubuque, Iowa. So we are in the tri-state area. This looks neat. It smells really good in here. I am going to get the Cinnabon. That looks good. 
This is a real neat coffee shop you have here. Thank you. We appreciate it. As I tell you, we've been here for 21 years. 21 years, huh? You are? Yes, we are. Nice. And, and you built it or did you buy the business? No, we built it. You built the business. Well, they're doing something right. So if you're in Galena, Illinois, this is where you come. Something we parked by is this chocolate store over here. This is definitely going to be a must for me. Hello. Hi, how are you? Mm. Beer caps. I'm pretty sure I can predict my future without having to pay somebody. In five minutes, I'll still be in Galena, Illinois. Well, maybe that's how it goes here in Galena. It's nothing you really need, but they have stuff that you want. Ask President Yu. So all these pastas here come actually come from Italy? Just the wall, yes. Wow. Mamma mia. I just picked up some pasta that I am looking forward to trying. I believe it's from Italy. We will see if the Italians know how to make pasta. I think they do. Smells good here in Lulu's. I'm wondering if this is what I'm smelling here. No, it's not that one. No, not that one. <laughs> this could take a bit. No, it's not that one. I like that. Something I noticed here at Lulu's. They're actually furry. <laughs> Cow slippers. Do they move when you walk? I think so. Yeah? There you go. So I must be doing it backwards because I started off at Lulu's 2 and now we're at Lulu's 1. <laughs> I am not sure why there's a Lulu's 1 right here and right across the street over there is a Lulu's 2, which is where I just was. Does Lulu have a split personality? Maybe Lulu's just Lulu. Let's go check out Lulu's 1. We just came from um, the Lulu's across the street, though. Yes. So I'm assuming this they're associated. This is the original. This, this is, is the original, original. Lulu's. I got to get these on the door when they step out here. Oh, you got to The back in 20 minutes, back in 10 minutes, back in five minutes. So this is the Galena Canning Company. And it looks like everything in a can, which would make sense. It's like a maze of cans in here. Looks like this is more of a science project over here. For those real tough Monday mornings. Something I notice in the uh, can store here that they don't have. No cans of pop or soda, depending on what part of the country you're in. All kinds of different popcorn. 
almonds, caramel corn. That's a good thing. Behind me is the Log Cabin Steakhouse. That's going to be dinner tonight. Looking forward to that. They got some uh, really good food. So I just walked in the Log Cabin Steakhouse awesome. here and your name is? Hayes. Hayes. I love it. Not Hayes Maverick. Just no, Hayes. Just Your experience. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think the rest of your bartenders are doing pretty well. So I was talking to somebody at a uh, business here, at the log cabin place actually, and they said I want to check out the Dowling House. The reason is, which is right behind me over here, is because it is the oldest building in the state of Illinois. And that actually surprises me. I thought it would be something in Chicago, but uh, they say it's the oldest building in the state of Illinois. They do a great job of keeping it up. Because I would not look at this building and think to myself, that's got to be one of the oldest buildings in the state of Illinois. But that's their claim to fame. And as I walk away from the Dowling House here, I have entered ice. And not only it's ice, it's ice going downhill. Pray. Here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. This is Maverick's Challenge 103 for today. Walking down an icy hill. And I have survived. Do I get a bumper sticker or a pin or something for that? All right, that was my kind of kitty here and go, oh! Time to go. I was trying to say that's my kind of store, but I had to run a little bit after knocking down a sign. Something I saw in one of the store windows here, and I'll zoom in in a second because you probably don't see it from this distance, but I have never seen a mannequin with eyelashes before. Thank you. Walking out of a store here. Let's go. As it gets darker here in Galena, this is basically what it looks like without the sun, which we never saw today. That's okay. It's a neat town. Just got to our motel here in Galena. And straight ahead, where all the lights are. That is Galena, way out there. This looks like a nice place. Let's go check it out. So from that room, nice. This is one of the first rooms I have ever checked into where you get a real fireplace, not where you just flick it with the switch and it's gasoline that uh, gives you the blue flame. This is going to be the real deal here. So they supply you with a basket of wood, which is over here. Got the fire, the firewood, and good old fashioned newspaper. Well look, the uh, Hawkeyes are holding off to reveal the starting quarterback. 
in the uh, Galena newspaper here. You may want to check that out. And now the matches. Remember these? Before they came out with those big lighting sticks? Good old fashioned match. Fun day here in Galena, Illinois. We got to check out some of the uh, stores, and tomorrow I will take you more on a history tour here in Galena, as we'll learn more about the history, and also the Chestnut Resort Mountain. We're going to check that out tomorrow, which will be continued in this video. Good morning from Galena, Illinois. It was a good night's sleep. A real nice motel, almost like a boutique motel. Uh, before we leave here, I'll show you the grounds. I think they said they have over 100 acres here, so it's really pretty. As we continue this video, I'm going to take you to a place called Chestnut Resort Mountain, and that's the ski area out here. And if you are familiar with the Mississippi Valley, we're only about 10 or 15 minutes from the Mississippi River, it gets really hilly, or in the Midwest, as we like to call them, bluffs, because you get these tiny, tiny, tiny little mountains, but nice hills, big hills, and then you just get on the other side of the hills and it's flat again. So we will check out Chestnut Resort Mountain and what they have going on over there. Also, hopefully, I'd like to explore the Mississippi River area a little bit, and we will also check out some more historic sites here in Galena. So let's get this day started. So this is where I stayed here. I won't even try to pronounce the name. See, the problem is I don't speak French. I barely speak English. What is that Lafarve, Lafever? I'm not sure what that is. So if you look out this way, though, it's just incredible. All these hills, well, at least to the road down there, belong to this motel. And over there, if you can see, is their uh, gazebo. Then they have, I suppose, for large family reunions, they got a, a nice grill in there. The pool, a eh, regular swimming pool, it's back over there. And then right in front of us, and I'll zoom in on this, it, it's going to be hard to see with the camera, but right in front of us, there we go. That is the town of Galena. Have you ever been to Galena, Illinois? If you have, comment below. I'd love to hear about your experience. It's a bit of a chilly day here in Galena. The actual temperature is eight degrees. But there's a wind that makes it feel like almost 10 below outside. This area, let me move the camera here, kind of reminds me of Colonial Williamsburg in Virginia. So if you've been there in that settlement village, that's the uh, general feeling you kind of get here in Galena. A lot of history in this town, but it's turned into like a, a, a tourist town as well with a lot of the stores that you saw earlier in the video. And I barely scratched the surface of the, the stores that they have here. So we are going to quickly walk to a coffee shop that's got really good coffee here. Eh, too late, I'm entering. Now since I'm not a coffee drinker, I am a donut eater. Well, look at this. The White House has moved to Galena, Illinois. We're going to check out this uh, museum here and see what other kind of information we can get about Galena. Ulysses Grant, he was born in Ohio? Um. Can I give you kind of the history of the yeah, house? Yeah, and into please. that will come his, this house was built in 1858 by Daniel Barrows. Okay. And he was a Galena businessman. At the time, he owned um, a building downtown on Main Street. 
and General Grant's father leased it and had a leather store in it. Okay. So a year before the Civil War, Ulysses, his wife Julia, and four kids moved to Galena because he needed a job. Worked in the leather store for a year, then joined the Illinois Infantry, and then became the Union General eventually. Uh, a fun fact is the man who built this house, Barrow, became friends with Grant. That's kind of how Grant got to Galena. By the way, the architect who designed this house also designed Grant's home. That's an original portrait of Julia Grant, and uh, Grant commissioned that to be painted during his first term as 18th president. She didn't like it. She had a right eye that didn't focus. The painter disguised it. The story is she wanted that eye uh, corrected, no. but Grant said, no, those are the eyes I fell in love with. This is a reproduction of the dress she's wearing. It was made by a local seamstress. Well, there we go, a little history there. And now we will forward into the present time as we go to the Chestnut Resort Mountain. And then we've got a pumpkin and a house full of Halloween. It's a graveyard full of cars. The vampire clown is back there. Welcome to Chestnut Mountain Resort. It's a regular ski area, and I thought, why not? We are here in Galena, so let's go check it out. It's all downhill from here. Let's hope I don't fall and break a leg just from wanting to look at this. That'd be embarrassing. I'm sure they get enough emergency situations with the skiers. They don't need a vlogger for YouTube that slips and needs medical attention. I apologize for the wind. It is windy here, real windy. And real cold. This is one of the few ski areas I've been to. When you approach it, you're at the top of the hill instead of the bottom, working your way up to ski down. Well, it's windy and it's super cold. It's a ski hill. Let's go inside. Here's one of their restaurants. Yeah, here's the uh, regular hotel rooms. Cut through the lobby again. Oh, that's a great name for a uh, restaurant here at a ski lodge, The Summit. If I knew how to snowboard, that would be me. Thank you, appreciate it. I've actually done this before. They've got uh, their own zip lining on the ski hill. Well, that's a quick peek of the Chestnut Mountain Resort and ski area here in Galena on a very, very, very frigid day. Let's go take a peek at the Mississippi River. So what is the significance of the Gilmore Inn just outside of Galena? Absolutely nothing. Just so I could basically show you an extension of the Mississippi. It's a little branch off it. The actual part of the river is still that way. And while driving over there, I saw this. And what a view this is. Now let's get a little bit closer to the Mississippi itself. Behind me over here is actually a very slim piece of the Mississippi River where I'm at. Then it uh, just downriver, it gets wide again. Same thing as upriver. So I found a spot where it just gets a little bit uh, slim. This is actually a little branch of it right over here, but just on the other side 
of the marsh and some of these trees over here is the Mississippi River itself. But like I said, it's kind of a, a slimmer piece of the river over here. And then over there, way over there, where you can see the trees on the other side, that is Iowa. I'm in Illinois right now. And more this way is Wisconsin. So we're right in a tri-state region. Going to wrap up the uh, tour here in Galena here at the Jail Hill Inn. Now this used to be a real jail and it is now a bed and breakfast. Um, being that a lot of people were checking out, they had a full house here yesterday. That's the uh, Jail Hill Inn behind me, by the way. Uh, they are in the middle of uh, cleaning up the rooms and so forth like that. And in the future, I'll stop by as well and maybe I'll set up a tour with them. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video and allowing me to show you Galena, Illinois. If you've ever been here before, I'd love to hear about it. Please comment below. Also, please do me a favor and like this video as it will help out with the YouTube algorithm and help me grow the channel. And if you don't mind sharing it, telling your friends about it, and again, getting them to subscribe as well, I would really appreciate it. If you like me on my Facebook page, you will be in the loop and some behind the scenes stuff there and kind of get a little bit of a tease of what's coming up in future videos too. You'll see me soon on the next one. Thanks for watching.